Bronco. What's going on guys, I'm Kyle Bradshaw and welcome to Motaz Monday, episode number eight. Today we're talking about the Motaz Mountain Hybrid. Now this tire, when it was released, was an anomaly. And I was working for a company at the time and we ordered a couple hundred of these tires and they disappeared super fast. Now, right now, of course, we're going to be digging into the details and the guts of the mountain hybrid tire from Motaz, but make sure you tune in next week. If you want something just a little bit more aggressive than the mountain hybrid, this tire right here next to me is the extreme hybrid. They basically taken the feedback from the mountain hybrid and really juiced it up. And that's where the extreme hybrid comes into play. So make sure you join us next week. Without further ado, let's jump into the mountain hybrid from Motaz. So this tire is really interesting. When it first came out, I was really stoked to run it. I was running the KTM 450 EXC at the time. I was running all of the mountains up in the Sierra Nevadas. There's lots of granite, there's loamy terrain. There's a lot of mixture when it comes to the types of things that you encounter on a daily basis up there in the Sierra Nevadas. When you look at a traditional trials tire, you have much smaller blocks than you find here on the mountain hybrid. They're like little erasers, little square erasers all over the tire. They're super, super flexible and super sticky. That's what allows them to have so much bite and so much traction. Now, Motaz wanted to be able to have a tire that had great bite and great traction, but they also wanted to be able to have longevity, and that's where this mountain hybrid comes into play. What they've done here is they've taken trials technology as far as the block goes, as far as the block itself being able to be super squishy and super malleable. They also took the carcass and were like, okay, well, we need something that's going to be robust enough to be able to handle off-road terrain. We need a carcass that's going to be robust enough to be able to let us cruise down the highway. Now, this tire is coined as a 75% dirt, 25% street tire. I mean, you could run this thing down the highway. Now, I personally have done that, and I did it on a bike that this tire was not intended or meant to be mounted on. I've got a 950 Super Enduro. I was in desperate need of a tire. The manufacturer out of the size that I needed. So I called Brian at Motaz. I'm like, dude, that mountain hybrid is the only tire that I have currently that's gonna fit that 950. What do you say? He's like, dude, that tire is not intended for a 400 pound motorcycle, but give it a shot. I'm curious to see what happens. So I rode on the street, 90 miles an hour from Livermore, California, all the way down to China Peak. We're talking about two and a half, three hours on the road. Now, when I got there, I was surprised. The knob still looked relatively new. Um, the tire did a phenomenal job on the highway. And then the next day is really where the performance of this tire came into play. I was running with two other guys on adventure motorcycles. They were on TKC 80s. And this here is the difference between the mountain hybrid and a TKC 80. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's striking. Both the F800GS and the 1200GS struggled uh, on that TKC80. And the 950, all I had to do was let the clutch out and this tire did all of the work. Now Motaz actually invented the hybrid tire concept in 2013. And then in 2014, they won multiple industry awards, including runner up for the most innovative product of the year at the 2014 AIM Expo. So what does hybrid actually mean? Well, hybrid equals the DNA of a trials tire with the profile and handling of an off-road tire. This is a hybrid mid tire from Motaz, the mountain hybrid is, and it's slated for 25% road and 75% off-road. Now, when running this tire on both the 450 and the 950, I was able to run extremely low air pressures that allowed me to let the sidewall work and flex and do what it needed to do. Now, the interesting thing about this mountain hybrid tire is you're going to notice that the sidewall is actually bulged here before you even put it on the motorcycle. This is a reinforced sidewall. 
This reinforced sidewall is going to allow you to air down to really low pressures and not get pinch flats. That's absolutely huge. It's got rim protection on here as well. And then when it comes to the actual tread compound and construction, we have a couple things going on up here. The first thing you're going to know is the concave mark here in between each of these tread. What that's going to do is it's going to allow the carcass to actually bend down, flex, and lock into place. That's going to give you extreme traction when you're out there on the trail. The other thing you're going to notice is the compound of this tire is a little bit more sturdy than that of a traditional trials tire. All right, let's grab a quick durometer reading on this guy here. Looking at the durometer reader here, we're looking at right at 65 on that reading. And then here for the front tire, let's see what we pull up over here. It's a little bit, little bit harder, right at 70. All right, now looking at tread depths here on the rear tire, we're looking at uh, 20, 30 seconds, or right about 16 millimeters. And over here on the front tire, we'll give it a good reading here. Here we're gonna have 12 millimeters and about 14, 30 seconds. Now the compound and tread block structure are what allows this tire to work so well on and off-road. Now I'm talking about the on-road characteristics. The actual rubber compound is strong enough in order to give you longevity and flexible enough to be able to give you great bite and traction. You're gonna notice that each of these blocks are siped and they're siped really far down. And they did that so the block itself will conform and maneuver and give great traction. Now, as far as on-road handling, a typical trials tire is horrendous in corners. When you start to go into a corner, all of those little eraser type blocks just wiggle to one side and you get a really eerie feeling. Um, it's really not so stable. When you take a look at the Motaz side blocks here, they've actually done something in order to prevent that from happening. Every third block and fourth block are actually tied to the block that's on the inside here. That's going to allow these three blocks to act as one large block. So you have two flexible blocks that are independent and move on their own. And then you get to this block here where the very top of the blocks function as individual blocks, but they're stable down at the base because all three of them are tied together. This is a huge benefit when using this tire to rail mountain roads. Now let's talk a little bit about front tires. The two most popular front tires that are used with the mountain hybrid are gonna be the Enduro ST tire that we talked about two weeks ago. And then this guy right here, this is the mountain hybrid front tire. Now this mountain hybrid front tire is unlike any of the other tires in the Motaz lineup. You're gonna see that this has some street characteristic to it. It's got some dirt characteristic to it. And it even has a little bit of trials tire characteristic to it. There's a lot of interesting things going on here. They did the same sipe down the center, um, the concave bite there that allows this tire to be able to flex and to roll over things. You're gonna notice that the blocks are smaller than that of an adventure tire and about the same size as a lot of motocross or DOT tires. Now the Mountain Hybrid has three lugs for each of these center contact patches. Now the other thing you're gonna notice is there are some blocks that are really close together and some blocks that are spaced further apart. That's gonna give this tire its hybrid nature. It's gonna clean out mud well and it's gonna stick to rocks extremely well as well. Again, a hybrid tire meant for doing just about anything and that's what Motaz made these tires for. And I can attest, man, Having these on two different of my motorcycles, just the performance that I got out of these tires were amazing. Now, since then, Motaz has developed the line and there are two more hybrid tires out there. There is the Extreme Hybrid, which is here to my left, your right. And then there is the Arena Hybrid. Now, I personally have yet to try those two tires, but after having run the Mountain Hybrid and knowing how well it worked in all those different types of situations, I'm really excited to get a smaller bike get these tires mounted up to get them out there in the desert to test them. Now this mountain hybrid is the perfect tire for those of you looking to conquer lots of different terrains and looking for the most traction possible in each of those scenarios. Now, if you want even more traction, but you don't need as much on-road characteristics or capabilities, that is this guy right here. This is the extreme hybrid. Anyway, I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Moto City. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching today. I hope you learned something about the mountain hybrid from Motaz. It really was a game changer when it was announced and released back in 2013 and 14. There are lots of other hybrid tires out there on the market right now, but Motaz was the leader. They were the innovator. And I think that if you compare this to some of the others that are out there, you're going to see that this guy is still at the top of the charts.
Now, please remember that you can purchase any of these tires from MotorCityParts.com. We have a specific Motaz page on the website, so you can take a look at all of these different tires, compare specs, and things of that nature. So please visit MotorCityParts.com for any of your Motaz tire needs. I'm Carl Bradshaw. Thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there.